Hey, what's up, guys? It's Deathstalker Sticker here with some more gameplay from the closed alpha of Evolve, or the big alpha, as it was known as. I know for most of you, it has been a while since I've uploaded a video. I do apologize for that. I've had one hell of a week or two, actually. Now, if you're a new viewer, you don't know that I've been MIA for about a week and a half. This is due to uh, transitioning between a uh, job and getting in a little trouble with some cops. <laughs> I didn't go to jail or anything like that, nothing like that, but it did um, mess up my schedule a little bit, especially with the new job that I'm going to be starting soon, and, you know, it, it's just, it, it messed up a couple of things and kind of fucked up my week, and therefore, I was not, I would actually haven't been on my PS4 in quite some time, I missed just about the entirety of the Iron Bear and then Destiny, and, you know, just, it, it fucked up my schedule just a little bit. But I'm back with another video from Evolve, um, because I did not finish uploading my videos, and I apologize for that massive ass break. But yes, here is the title says, this is some gameplay from Evolve's Big Alpha with the Kraken. Now, the Kraken was one of the least played characters, because there was just not a lot of people that could get into the Alpha, if you recall. It was like very unstable, and was hard to get into the servers, and there was a lot of trouble there. But for those that got in, even playing it, they would get knocked out the server sometimes, and... It made hard playing the game, and it made it difficult to play the game and progress in it, so not a lot of people got to rank up and get access to some of the other characters, such as the second tier of uh, Hunters or the second tier of the Monsters, which was the Kraken. So most gameplay you see out there would be containing only the Goliath or the first four Hunters, which is uh, Markov, Val, Buck, no not Bucket, Hyde, Hyde, no not Hyde, oh man I'm mixing up names, Hank, Hank and Maggie, of course. The other four you did not get to see. I do have some gameplay for most of them. Only one I didn't get to get any gameplay well was uh, Hyde, because it would just hell get into those last little bits of EXP and fighting with the servers, and I did go a bit crazy with the Goliath. He is the most fun character to play in the game. I mean, just jumping around, throwing stuff, and just beating the shit out of everything. The Goliath is just, oh man, it's a pure joy. But yes, the Kraken. Now the Kraken, just like the Goliath, has four abilities, just like any monster, it only has four abilities. And these abilities are, of course, the Vortex, the Aftershock, the Banshee Mines, and the Lightning Strike. Now, the Banshee Mines you may see right now is these little glowing orbs. They start off as blue, but when they lock them towards another enemy that's in the proximity of them, they turn red and seek them out. As they said, it's Banshee Mines, not Banshee Grenades. They do sit in locations and they act as homing... Yeah, home in floating mines actually. They do a good amount of damage, about medium damage, and they got a light knockback to the characters, so it's really good for ambushes and just delaying the hunters if they're on your ass. Then there's the Vortex, of course, and I did not start off with the Vortex because I don't use it as much. As you see, I use the Lightning Strike a lot, and the Vortex is just a. Uh, what exactly what it is a Vortex? You send out a cone of energy and it pushes hunters back. Very versatile, very useful, but. I like my aggressive attack, especially for feeding. As you see, I ate my way to victory in this one. Got there really quick to third um, stage three, really easy. Um, the lightning strike, as I was just saying, is the my favorite and one of the most powerful moves. It's about like a two second charge up, and it zeroes in some energy or lightning strikes that build up and just slam down a shit ton of damage. It's good for like at level three, I believe it can knock out a hunter in just one hit. So yeah, pretty damn powerful. Uh, last but not least is the Aftershock, which is one move that I don't usually start off with. Actually, I don't recall ever starting off with it. It's it's a very useful move, but it's mostly for close range and when they're really up and close on you. It's a splash type weapon, and what it is is that you just build up a lot of energy and dispel energy right around you in a nice wide circle. So it's when they're all close up on you, and you know you just want to tell them get the hell back, just back on up. So, it's not one that I use, um, yeah, that's that's actually about it. Uh, the lightning strike, though, like I said, is my favorite, as you see me using it here, because I was kind of pinned down inside this little cavern system, I couldn't get airborne, which is the, the Kraken is usually used for. But what I decided to do was uh, back over to that corner there and let them fight with that Dune Beetle, because what's better than um, one monster fight in the US 2, and that Dune Beetle is a bitch sometimes, so why not let the hunt, you know hunters mess with him a little bit, why let the... Trapper's Dome wear out because it's on a timer. Like I said, I could not get airborne in this cave, and that's what the Kraken is really used for. The Kraken is more of a ranged, highly elemental, highly powerful power user 
type uh, monster, and what you want to do is you want to keep your distance, as I said, with range, and just how on the freaking abilities. Just keep blowing through them because they're on short cooldowns, and it doesn't really cost you too much. I mean, you use them a little effectively, and you're pretty good. Most people will say that the Kraken is overpowered, but I I wouldn't say that exactly. I mean, he's pretty powerful, and I think maybe a tweak here and there would be okay. Um, he does have less armor than the Goliath, but I think he makes up for that with his uh, aerial movements and uh, the powers, because they're, they're pretty fucking strong. Um, but it just takes a different fighting style to fight the, Goli um, the Kraken as to when you're fighting the Goliath. The Goliath, you know, you can... It's really the easiest go-to type of uh, monster to fight, both the, both the fight actually and use. Um, when using the Goliath, you can just rush into combat and just attack, whereas with the Kraken, you generally need to, you know, keep your distance whatever. at the same time. Players may want to get close up with the Kraken, but at the same time, you know, you gotta stay very um, versatile with your movements, because you don't want to get too close and he's using the Aftershock on you. Or you don't want to stay too far away and just get fucked up by lightning strikes all day long. <laughs> So, it, it takes a different fighting style, especially when he's airborne. I fought one Kraken in the game, because like I said, there was a serious shortage of Krakens due to stability and investment of the XP and, you know, just people getting to access to the other monster. So, therefore, I only fought one Kraken, and he was using the air to his advantage, and oh my gosh, it makes for the worst type of fight for the Hunters. I mean, it is a pain. To try to shoot a Kraken from the sky. I mean, he put us down in like five minutes, maybe. Or only uh, five, six minutes, yeah. I don't think he made it to stage three. Because even a stage two um, Kraken is pretty. It's, it's It could be hell. It can really be hell. And you see, I just reached stage three because I was uh, just running around feeding on everything I could. And I think I had the perk or the ability to increase my feeding speed, so I knew I just needed to just run around and eat everything I could. Only th problem was that I forgot or I did not learn yet that. When you do evolve, you lose all your armor points, and the only way to get those back is by eating more. So, therefore, you need to eat more. Um, when you are feeding, though, you need to focus on the bigger creatures. I mean, small creatures are good, but, you know, the bigger they are, the more meat that's on their bones. And the more to help you. So, you know, you, when you do evolve, when you play and evolve later on next year, I guess it is, or unless this, you're watching this video in 2015 for some reason, um, you generally want to leave some food laying around before you evolve. I made that mistake too many times, but it didn't cost me much because generally they weren't really on my tail, so I was okay. Because because This is because health is permanent, and once you start taking health damage, you can't really get it back. There's only one way, and it's through evolving, and it doesn't give you like a full you know, quarter of health, or it doesn't fill your bar up all the way. So you generally don't want to get into too many fights once you lost all your armor points. Because I mean, these can easily be regained just by going around and feeding. Now, as I said, the Kraken is one hell of a, a beast to fight, so right here, when it came down to the reactor fight, I was able to wipe him out in no time at all and work with the reactor, even though I do love to destroy the reactor. Now, you see, the powers are just queuing up right after each other because of the cooldown. I think they should retweak that maybe just a little bit. Maybe like a, I don't know, slow it down another second or two or something, because, you know, it's just, it's just hell. So he's, Look at that, look at that, that's just too much. And I wasn't even airborne that fight. That's just a bitch to fight a Kraken. Well, okay, that concludes this video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, doesn't hurt. Um, do appreciate that, or drop a comment below. If you have any questions, you can also do that too. Um, you can go ahead and check out one of these two videos, also from the Evolve Closed Alpha or Big Alpha that I've uploaded. I will have more gameplay from all the other characters, excluding... No, okay, I'll upload, I do have two videos from Hyde, I think it is, though they were brutal defeats, I will upload them and just revel in my humiliation from being destroyed. Fortunately enough, I do have that video with the Kraken, so you'll be able to see how badly we got stomped there. Um, as always, you can catch me on Twitter or even Google+, all links are in the description.